After retiring, you want to be able to take $1,000 every month for a total of 20 years from your retirement account. The account earns 6% interest. How much will you need in your account when you retire? This is a payout annuity formula, meaning we have a retirement account and that account is going to be paying out money to us as we retire. That account also will be increasing in a way of value uh, as an interest grows, but you're still drawing money out and eventually it's going to go down to zero. All right. So this is the formula right here for that. Let's identify some key parts that we need to find and what we know. The question here is how much will you need in your account when you retire? That's going to be the initial amount. So P sub O, we do not know. All right. Now we have, can we find D, the regular withdrawal? So we want to draw $1,000 every month. Okay. So we're going to draw $1,000. So our D value here is $1,000. Now the annual interest rate they tell us is 6%. So the account here, 6% as a decimal, 0 0.06. And the number of compounding periods, this is every month that is happening right there. So our compounding periods K is going to be 12, 12 months in a year. And the number of years we're going to be withdrawing, they tell us it's 20 years. So that's our end value is 20. And so now at this point, we're going to take our formula and plug in what we know to find what we don't know. So we don't know P sub O, but we have a formula for D is 1000 times a one minus another parenthesis, one plus our R value is a decimal, 0 0.06 over K, which is 12. And then that part is to the power of negative n being 20 times our k value, which is 12. And then we close the parentheses. We're finished with the numerator. We go to the denominator here. And that's going to be r over k, our rate 0 0.06 over our k value, which is a 12. And so now we just need to simplify where we can. I'll be using my calculator here. I'm not doing all this in my head, but let's do it in parts. P sub zero equals, we have 1,000 stays on the outside here. Now that one plus 0 0.06 over 12, 0 0.06 divided by 12, and we add one to that, and we get a 1.005. So now we have a one minus a 1.005, yep, to the power of negative 20 times 12, which is a negative 240. We divide that by 0 0.06 divided by 12, and it's a 0 0.005. Now let's go simplify this part up here. We have a, let's keep it here, so 1,000 times, let's do all this. So it's 0 1.005 to the power of negative 240, and we do one minus that value, so the value was a 0 0.302. One minus that gives us a 0 0.69790385 all over 0 0.005. Now I think at this point we can do all in one last step. We're going to take that number here, that long decimal, I'm going to multiply it by 1000, and I'm going to divide by 0 0.005. And I get a 139580.77 rounded. And that is a $139,580.77. And so that amount is how much we have to have in our retirement account to when we retire for 20 years to receive $1,000 every month. I hope you learned something here. And as always, Thanks for watching.